one of the interesting questions people ask us is how do you guys vibe check your embeddings? Sure, there's MTAB for more serious and quantitative evaluation on public benchmarks, but what do you do for open domain or new problem? Today we want to share a small internal tool we use for debugging and visualization. You can call it our vibe testing toolkit. We call it correlations. Today it's open source on GitHub, so here's the main UI. We're already using the tool to pre-embed two long articles. One is our Gina Embeddings V3 blog post, and the other is the academic paper of V3. If you're not using Gina Embeddings, you can totally bring your own embeddings to this visualization tool. What we're looking at now is a heat map that visualizes the pairwise correlations between chunks from these two documents. You can hover your mouse over each little block to see the text behind it and their cosine similarity. You can open up the table to get an overview of all those text chunks. You can also filter out blocks by their similarity scores or content length, which is really helpful for filtering out noisy chunks. For example, most of the time we're not that interested in short matches since they're probably just closing punctuation and stuff like that. We can filter those out by sliding the length slider. You can also switch to your favorite color map for better contrast and styling. One of the really useful features is being able to drag and select the interesting areas to find out what's behind them. You can simply drag an area on the heat map and it'll pop up a small panel showing you a mini heat map of that area and the corresponding chunks. This is super helpful for checking potential matches between documents. Let's look at this particular area. There's a pretty interesting pattern here where we see high values um, on the diagonal. This pattern usually means there's strong chunk to chunk alignment between these two documents. Let's select this area and see what's going on. In the small panel, we can see the text chunks that correspond to this area, which describe the LoRa task type supported by V3. Let's copy them out and take a closer look. Okay, so it looks like we mainly copy pasted from the paper to the blog post when we wrote this section. So there's high alignment between these two documents, particularly around the LoRa task type descriptions. Good to know. There are tons of interesting use cases for this visualization tool. We use it for validating citations in deep search, debugging late chunking, and much more. Go try it out on GitHub and let us know what you think.